Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I've got my weekly Woolworths shopping or shopping haul to share with you. So we are back to all three of us being in the house full time. We are back to eating a bit healthy. Uh, my son came with me today, so we've got a few of his snacks. But we are trying to be a little bit careful on what we do. So I'm just going to go through the shopping with you, show you what we got this week and uh, also let you know some of the meal plans that we are planning. So first thing was actually our dog food. Now I was so excited to actually see I could buy three, three kilo rolls this week. Um, that will do our dogs for... Uh, uh, we've got nine meals there, so I needed to get more than two, but they have a kilo with some biscuits. Now, this one isn't my normal one, but I had to get this one because I needed three and they only had two of the other ones. It's a VIP gourmet dog roll. It's chicken, egg and rice, three kilos. Now, this was $8, uh, but if you remember, I had to go to IGA earlier in the week before I went away and I paid over $11 for three kilos of dog food. So I was very happy to see these ones back in stock. Now these are the Baxters which have been what I've been able to buy for a while and they were $5.45 each so I picked up two for $10.90 which is uh, less than what I paid for the, one of the Protopack on Monday. So I'm very excited to have that back in the fridge and my dogs will be as well. Um, but sadly, they were the only three dog rolls on the shelf. So um, I felt a bit guilty taking all of them, but I didn't know what I was gonna do to get through the week. I've got a very busy week this week and I didn't think I would get back to the shop. So we've got those. We've got our litre of Harvey Fresh Hilo milk. So this is our one that we normally buy. It was $2.90. And then one of the recipes that I'm doing this week is the lasagna with the slices of zucchini instead of the pasta sheets. And our sauce with that one, like our white cheesy sauce, if you like, bechamel, is actually made with ricotta. So it's made with ricotta, egg and parmesan cheese. And that's what we use. And so I needed one of these. So that was $3.30 and that's a 375 grams. It's just a Woolworths brand blend and I find... <laughs> This smooth light ricotta really works well. Apologies for my dogs in the background. Someone's walking past with a dog and I do have the door open because it's been raining here today and it's just nice to get some fresh air. Now, Kale came with me today and we were looking at some things on special that he would like to try and he picked up this Wicked Sister Sunday. It's double chock and cookie. So it looks like it's got the chocolate mousse. It's got... I guess cookie in the bottom or on top, inside, I'm not quite sure. But he will suss that one out. It was actually on special. Um, it was $3.25. But uh, he will try that one and let us know what he thinks. Now, I needed parmesan cheese. So I've actually got two of these today. These are the 250 grams Australian shaved parmesan. These are the cheapest parmesan that we have on the shelf. They were $6.00 but I need a cup of parmesan to make the bechamel sauce for our lasagna. And my son has also picked himself up some spaghetti bolognese to have next Friday night when my husband and I go out for tea. He's going to stay home and he's chosen that to have. So we needed extra parmesan, so I got two because I don't think one will be enough to get us through. Um, he also picked up the Dairy Farmers Thick and Creamy Field Strawberry Yogurt. So these are 150 grams. Now they were on special. I think they were half price this week because that was only $1.25 and I know they're normally a lot more dearer than that. I've got a thickened cream. I haven't had one for a while and I'm going to go back to keto coffees this week. Um, I'm back to early so I'll probably have a keto coffee for breakfast and make myself a chia pudding to take with me and then have just some cold meat and salad to snack on until I get home because I will be in the office on my own. So that's 300 meals for $2.60 and we needed to get another butter. So that's just the Woolworths unsold butter, the 500 grams. Now when I first started buying these, they were literally $2.80 or something like that for the 500 grams. They're now $6. So they keep going up and up and up and up. But we do use those. Um, I use them in my keto coffee. We use them in our cooking. Um, so that's just what we have. So I don't have as much stashed in the fridge as I used to, but I do try and get one. 
So I picked up a Polish sausage. Now I'll probably have this as some of the cold meat to go with my salad. It was five dollars seventy-five. Uh, sorry, five dollars forty-five for three hundred and seventy-five grams. But I usually try and have some kind of sausage or twiggy sticks or something in the fridge so that if hubby needs to have a snack, it's a bit more of a protein snack. It's not completely healthy, but it's better than chips or fruit yogurt or anything like that. So we've got those. And now these are the spaghetti bolognese that my son has picked up. There's two of these. You get two for $13. Um, two and a half minutes in the microwave. Give it a stir, chuck it in a plate. And you can actually tell like the spaghetti is actually quite good. Now these we actually got as a bunch item once to try it. Really, really liked it. So as a treat, if he's having needing to organize dinner for, by himself he's 13 so he's just turned 13 so these are the kind of things he likes to just stick in the microwave and heat up if i don't have anything else for him or there's no leftovers so quite happy to have one of those now they had quite a long expiry date on them 6th of november so he can have one now and we can keep one in the fridge i thought i would try these meatballs super sub meatballs it says enjoy hot or cold i thought i might try these in with some salad for lunch, I'll see how they go. Um, they were actually on special for $4.80, so I thought maybe I'll try them and just see how they go. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about taking cold lasagna to work um, and heating it up can be a bit of a hassle because you've got to go upstairs to the kitchen and then I'm away from the phone and I don't hear it and things. So I'm not sure. We'll just see how we go this week. It should only be four days that I'm on my own, but we'll just see how we go. Uh, Kayle needed some more sliced cheese. We just got the little single pack. These are the ones on special this week. They were $5 for 250 grams, the bigger cheese slices. He has those with ham in um, his sandwiches for lunch and then takes extra little bits and pieces. So got those. And then this Danish salami. This was actually on clearance. It's a natural Danish summer salami gluten free no artificial preservatives no artificial colors no artificial flavors the expiry date was the 3rd of november so it's still got quite a good date but they were half price so they were only two dollars and i thought that was quite good they look like a decent size of salami so i might try those with maybe cheese and like rice cakes or something for a lunch this week so we'll try that um and then i got a silver side so we love silver side either usually with a cauliflower cheese or something for tea, and that gives us heaps of cold meat. So I'll see how we go either having that as a meal or even just cooking that so I've got um, cold meat for lunch. But it was $12 a kilo, so it was $17 for this piece, but it's 1.4 kilos, so that will definitely last a while. And I also want to try and get things like that just to keep in the fridge for times when maybe I can't get what I've got a little bit like a stockpile I suppose because this week was also I'm not sure how I'll go with shopping next week but I used my 10% discount code so I got a couple of things that are a bit more expensive today because that gets the 10% off as well so we've got 500 grams of lamb mints now the lamb mints uh they didn't have pork so the lasagna is meant to have beef and pork mints uh, to a total of a kilo so I'm not sure whether I'll use half lamb and half beef, but this was $7.50 for the half a kilo. And the beef mint was $13 for the full kilo. So we've got a kilo and a half mints all together. Now a kilo of mints, whether it be all beef or half lamb and half um, beef, we'll do our lasagna this week. And the other half a kilo, my son in food technologies during the term, last term, made a chow mein mince with mince and veggies and uh, two minute noodles and things like that so he's wanting to make that for us for tea one night so uh the recipe i think was 150 grams of mince and that was like for two kids to share uh, i thought we would go like four times the recipe but i've got 500 grams of mince but that should still be okay we can tweak it a little bit so he can actually make that. He wants to make that for us as a family and I think it's great practice and it's a great thing to do. So that'll be one night as well. The Dynamo Professional Discs, these are 
the 700 gram so these are 28 washes now these were half price so I've had a stash of these when I've been away because if hubby needs to do washing or Kale needs to chuck something in the washing machine, it's quick and easy. They can just put one disc in underneath the washing um, and I found it to be really good. So I saw these, they were half price. I've got that 10% discount again today. So I got these just to put in my stash uh, because we are getting low on the ones that are there. So I've got those um, and then also... Hubby's normal shower gel wasn't on special, but I just got this Palm Olive Men. It was a deep clean with spearmint oil, um, and it was four dollars fifty. I think they were normally six dollars fifty, so I had a little bit of a discount on that one. And then the distilled water, I couldn't get any of that the other day, so I saw it there and I did pick one up. So that's two liters. Um, my husband uses that in his CPAP machine, so it's nice to have one of those always on standby. Now the basmati rice, this uh, is five kilos. It's quite a while since I got my last one, but there's only a little bit left in the bag and these were half price. So that was $11.50 for five kilos of rice. It's got little handles on the top and it's actually just got a nice little zip. So for what doesn't fit in a container, you can just keep it sealed in the bag in your pantry. And I found that it does store really well in those bags. So I've got one of those. So that was $11.50. We need passata for our lasagna, two and a half cups, I think, off memory. So we got the 680 grams. It was $1.95, which is pretty good value. Um, wasn't on special, but it's just always a really good price. And whatever's left over, we can pop that in a pasta sauce or something um, or pop it in the freezer and we can have it next time. Uh, my son was wanting a new math wash. We saw this one now. This is a, it says it's for kids, anti cavity, but it's a berry shield. So I'm thinking that this might be maybe not as strong as some of the other mouth rinses. So we'll try this one and just see how he goes with that. So that was 500 mils. That was on special, and I'd like to think they were half price, I think. That was $4, and I think some of the other Listerine ones were 5 So I'm pretty sure that they were half price off. This time, uh, he got his normal peach and strawberry jelly. As you can see um, by what's coming up next, when I shop, I usually only get him a couple of things, but we've ended up with a few more than a couple this time around. But we've got the jelly. They are $2.20. I did see these on clearance. Salad toppers. They're crispy onions. Uh, crunchy salad sprinkles. There's more than eight serves in here. It says salads, pizzas, stir-fry, burgers they're all natural real onions it's 90 grams um and when i had a look at them there's not really much in there apart from onions vegetable oil tiny uh, it says a little bit of wheat flour but that's probably just so they don't stick together and water and salt so there's nothing else in there so i thought that might be a good addition to maybe some salads i do a bit of a greek salad with um you know tomato cucumber red onion uh, feta and olives with just a little bit of a dressing and I wondered whether these might sort of be a, a different take on on that I don't know we'll have a play with those and see what happens but they were $2.90 and then uh, my son got these for his lunchbox they were thick shake bars a caramel flavor and they've got little sprinkles and things on them they were half price they were $2.37 and there's six bars in there so that'll do him for the week and a bit after school and and what have you uh now the mentos were on special as well so we've got three rolls of those for two dollars eighty he's loved those so we'll probably leave one roll out and then stash the others so they will last for quite a while cabri freddo frogs strawberries these were half price so i've probably made a bit of a rod for my own back here but i have said to him previously when he shopped with me that if it was on special, then he could have some. And when they're half price, well, how can I say no? $2.50. So we'll stash some of those as well. Um, and that will last him a while. Now, his caramel this week, he's wanting to try the Marvelous Creations. It's jelly popping candy beanies in caramelized white chocolate. Normally, he just gets the plain caramel, but he can try this one. We'll see what it's like, and then he'll know. The next time, they were on special too, $3.50. Uh, the chow mein noodle, the chow mein mince that he's going to do for us requires chicken noodle soup. 
So this packet was $1.10 and I think we'll probably nearly use that whole packet. We'll have to have a look at the recipe, but if not, it will pop that away for next time. His usual milk root biscuits. These are just the Woolworths brand. Uh, he's quite happy with these ones. And at $1.30 a packet, they're better than even when the other milk roots are on special. So we've got those uh, marshmallows. Yes, they were on special. They seem to have all his favourite things on special this week. So we've got marshmallows. They're $3.50. And then for my lunch bag, because I'm almost out of snacks and because I'm not going to be able to leave the office this week, I got some of these Slim Secrets. They are only 1.3 grams of sugar, creme caramel, triple layer protein bars. It's a four pack. Now they were $6, but they were on clearance from $10. So I thought I would try those because I've tried similar ones to this and they were quite okay. And if I make myself a coffee at work, I can have a coffee and one of those and it does stop me reaching for biscuits and lollies and things that I really shouldn't have. Now, zucchinis have come down a little bit, but they're also a little bit smaller. So I ended up with six zucchinis because that's how many I'm going to need to slice and make my lasagna sheet uh, for the lasagna that we're making. So what you do is you actually slice them lengthways to make them long, thin strips. I think it's half a centimetre thick. So you take the ends off and slice them. You pop them in the oven for something like half an hour. And it dries them out so they're not like watery and soggy. And you lay them in between your mince mixture and your, your bechamel sauce, which is made with the ricotta, parmesan and egg. And it really does look like a lasagna. What I'll probably try and do, there's a bit of a spot up here in the frame. I'll try and pop a picture up there of one that I made last time. I did take a couple of pictures. So I'll stick that up there just so you can see what it looks like. But the whole family really enjoyed it. And it does take a little bit of making. But once it's there, you've got a dish in the... Um, I think it made like six or eight serves or something. So you've got a dish in the, in the fridge that's ready to go. Heat it up. I popped it in the oven to heat it up. Or even when I only had a couple of bits left... Popped it on a piece of um, baking paper in the air fryer and it actually goes a little bit crispy on top and things. So it really did go down a treat. Uh, we needed a half cabbage for our chow mein mint. Don't think we quite needed a half, but they didn't have any smaller ones. So $3.50, maybe we can have cabbage and bacon or something uh, with one of our meals during the week. And then a couple of cucumbers. These are the odd bunch cucumbers. So... They're very different in size, but they were probably the biggest ones. They were $1.60 each, so you can tell they're sort of, they're very, very different. But that's what the Odd Bunch stuff is all about, and they're always a lot cheaper. So I've got those to do a Greek salad if we would like this week. Um, Kale's got cutes again. We've got carrots, and we've got a few twiggy sticks, and we've still got some snow peas, but he did need some cukes. So we've got those. They were $3 a punnet. Now we needed beans for our chao mein mint. They didn't have any little packets of beans, but they had these great big crunchy and tender beanettes, 400 grams. They were on special for $5.90 and they were actually cheaper than the other bag of cut beans that was only about 250 or 300 grams. So we'll make do with these ones. Um, I'll probably have them in with my salad for lunch and Kale will probably pop these in his lunchbox with cukes and carrots and snow peas and things as well so we will go through those a bunch of tomatoes tasty tomatoes they call these ones these are a kilo and we really like them they tend to be odd sizes and things but they're a good little container it keeps in the fridge just like that and we'll have them you know with brekkie or salads or what have you and they have actually come down in price so they're six dollars ninety we were paying up to ten dollars a kilo for tomatoes there at one stage so i was very happy with that and then um some strawberries these strawberries were on special they're going a little bit dark i would say they haven't got many days left with them but they were two dollars ninety and kayla and i will have strawberries and what ones that are left that go a bit soft i'll just tuck in a smoothie for breakfast uh and the last thing i have Kale picked some ultimate juicy strawberry yogurt. These were on special for like $3.50, I think. But they actually are not on my docket. So 
I think that at the checkout there's either been an error or something's happened, but we didn't realise until we were laying everything on the table that it hasn't we haven't been charged for that. So we'll call that a freebie for today. So that's the whole shopping. I spent a total of $198.62. Now that included my $10, uh, sorry, not $10, my 10% discount. So it was about $220 before the discount. Uh, so my total savings, which is obviously savings from things that were on sale and my discount came to a total of $79.05 today. So we really have shopped the specials. I've tried to be a lot smarter. My other reason for being a little bit savvy with money is we are looking at updating the car that I drive around in. I've got a Holden Rodeo dual cab. It's a 2005 but it takes our dogs to the beach if we want to go anywhere. It fits all my market stuff in it. But it is uh, not so good on fuel economy. And if we need to go anywhere, we always go in my husband's work ute. So we are looking at upgrading that so I can go and see my friend who lives about seven hours away. She's not well and I need to be able to go and visit her. And also school holidays, maybe Kay and I can go for a couple of days away if my husband can't get any time off work. So we are looking at updating our vehicle. We have got um, money that we put aside extra in our mortgage that we can redraw. I've also have a little bit of money um, left from a, a sale after my father passed away that has been sitting on our uh, housing loan as well. So we're going to draw that out, but I really need to... Watch our pennies for the next few weeks. Um, my husband has a big birthday coming up. We've got 80 people that we're going to be feeding for tea and putting some money on the bar and all that kind of stuff that comes with a big party. So we are really um, tightening the belt and getting what we need to, but um, trying to not let everyone miss out on stuff, if that makes sense. So we're just going to be a little bit mindful of what we are doing. So we'll have better shops for the next few weeks. Uh, one of the new things that I've noticed is I've got some reward credits. Now, I earned 11 today. There were two bonus ones and I already had one. Bonus credits with Woolies at the moment are by, you can get um, plates and cups and glasses and cutlery and things. And I'm eyeing off the pasta bowls because we always use those kind of bowls. So I'm hoping to get them, but I haven't seen them to know whether they're actually worth getting. So we'll just accumulate them and see how we go. I did get triple rewards points um, this week because we are a, a Woolies Everyday Extra member. Uh, so we got 10% off and we got extra points today. So my total points earned in this shop were 834 which has bumped us up to the next $10 credit for Christmas. Now got a total of $370 banked for Christmas, which will definitely do us a good Christmas shop and a little bit more. So we're only in October, so I'm really, really happy with that. That's really going to help, especially with all the savings and things that we're going to need to do. I've kind of not looking at the points that you can get at the moment for spending X amount of dollars because I know that Woolies just up and up and up them. And I'm trying to be a little bit more savvy. So I don't think I'm going to get to those. I'm hoping they will drop one down because my regular shopping is going to be less. But we'll just wait and see how we go. So that's all I've got to share with you today. Um, I hope you've been having a great day. If the sun's finally out here. It's been raining all day. Uh, not very spring-like. But uh, it's going to be a little bit warmer. And I've got markets tomorrow. So we're going to head off and pack the car shortly. So in the meantime, I hope you're having a great day. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.